there, BrewTube DJs here, back at you with yet another DJ's BrewTube beer review. Well, it's summertime beer again, guys, and it doesn't seem to matter what season it is, but old DJ gets down, like, exiled down to the damn beer dungeon. So here we are again, and what beer do we have today? Well, today we're going to St. Louis Brewery out of St. Louis, Missouri for their Schlafly beer. That's all right. One of our, my favorite brands, Schlafly. I've had a lot of great brews from these guys. Um, haven't had... Hmm. I haven't had any that I, that I have really said, man, this beer sucks ass and I don't want to drink it again. Um, I've seen some spotty reviews on this one, but it is a summertime brew. It's a real light session beer. This is based on one of their flagship beers, one of the ones that really got them going, their unfiltered wheat beer. And this is their Raspberry Hefeweizen. Um, this beer is on, let me think, I can remember, 3.9% alcohol by volume and it's only 16 IBUs. So they take their, you know, unfiltered Hefeweizen version and they add raspberries to it. So it's considered a fruit and vegetable beer. So you guys know I've had mixed results and mixed, I don't know, um, encounters with our friends fruit and vegetable beer. Um, so hopefully this won't be pumpkin beer like now Schlafly's pumpkin, you know, beer is really good. I love their beer. But let's see if this one stands up to it as well. We got our Weizen glass or Tulip Top Pilsner or whatever the fuck you want to call it. But let's get the cap popped on this. And get in the bottle. Nice hiss off the top. Oh, we got some raspberry goo on it. Oh, it smells like raspberry. We'll pour this aggressively since it is a Hefeweizen. Boom, get that in the glass. Okay. Well, we've got a raspberry looking beer. It's cloudy and it's sort of got a pinkish hue. And I don't know if you can see it on camera. I'll put it close. It's got a real tight bubbled head and it's got like a sort of a pinkish hue from the raspberries in the head. They actually use real raspberries in this. It's not, you know, fake stuff or flavoring or coloring. So they've definitely done their job with the fruit. Um, the head's dissipating fairly quick. We got about mm, two and three quarters fingers, which isn't huge for a uh, Hefeweizen. When you swirl it, you get absolutely no alcohol legs, but at 3.9%, who expected that? Um, to me, this is probably going to be a summertime chugger. I got my workout on, so it's, you know, it's, it's beer time, right? That's what all of the great athletes have with their workout, right? Oh, anyways, that's what I have. So let's get a nose on this, guys, and without further ado, see what we got going on. Damn, you can definitely smell the raspberries on that. Wow. It smells like a raspberry candy, like one of those hard raspberry candies you had maybe when you were a kid that were filled with like that like sort of gel kind of in the inside when they would, that outside hard candy shell would melt. That that gel that would be on the inside like that taste this smells there is some faint banana and clove in the background very faint it's dominated by that raspberry smell and there's a good bit of sweetness um, I've read some reviews of this and they said they basically called it a chick beer I don't know so let's see what it tastes like and we'll I guess we'll be the judge of that won't we Well, it certainly lives up to its raspberry. There's plenty of raspberry flavor in that. I could chug this glass bottom to top, <clears throat> excuse me, without a problem. And that raspberry flavor is quite pleasant. I've, now, I've had the regular, I think I've had this regular wheat beer, and it wasn't my favorite. It was, like, kind of weak. And I think that the raspberry addition to this for this, like, you know, summer seasonal they've got going on here is actually pretty darn good. Um... It has real full raspberry flavor. It's not off-putting and it's not cleanly sweet, which is usually what you get with these fruit and vegetables beers. And what I've been finding, the more of these that I drink, they're either good, well, three, one of three things. They're awesome, great, you know, like pumpkin and this, their, their pumpkin ale, which is awesome. They're good, you know, okay, I might drink it again. Or they really suck ass, and unfortunately most of them suck ass. You guys have drank them, you know what I'm talking about. This one is not bad at all. It's quite pleasant. And like I said, I could chug this glass bottom to top like like it's not even there. But maybe I have a drinking problem. Who knows? Anyway, but I could drink this one. But, hey, it's 3.9%, dude. You're going to have to drink about a six-pack of these to catch a buzz if you've been drinking craft beer for a little while. So, anyways, what did the other guys think on this? Rape Beer gives it a 31. Fuck off, Rape Beer. Um, beer Advocate's given it a 76. Mm, I could see somehow some guys might give this a 76 because... Um, I'm sort of a Hefeweizen head, so maybe I have a different point of view, but it's not a huge taste beer, but this is a beer definitely you could have around for friends who are not craft beer people, 
and you could definitely give to your lady. She might like this beer because it really it has a nice raspberry flavor. There's no you can tell that they didn't use junk in this beer and they excuse me put a decent amount of fruit in it. And for that fact, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna give this a B minus. I'm gonna give it an 80. Um, I think it's a good B minus beer. I mean I don't know if I'd seek it out. Um, a lot, but it might be something I would have on a hot sunny day, and especially this would be an awesome grass cutter beer. But good beer to have around for the craft beer newbies, introductory sort of training wheels beer. I'm going to give it a B minus today. And um, if you guys had this, let me know. Tell me what you think about it. It's a nice summer seasonal. And remember what I say, guys: think globally, drink locally, support the craft beer movement. Help guys like Schlafly keep experimenting or keep putting out beers that have got a bunch of crazy ass raspberries or something on, man, because that's just cool. You know, the the big macro breweries, they don't do that shit like that unless they buy somebody and they're faking it. So anyways, guys, thanks a million for watching, and I'll see you in the next DJ's Brew Tube. And as always, that's a big damn. That's a big piece. Ah.